preachings from the holy sepulchre, the holy tomb of Jesus Christ, where he resurrected from, where he poured out blood on Calvary there, in the anointing stone was washed, and here in the tomb where he was laid and resurrected from, where he gave us new life. Today on Easter day, we see Mary of Magdala coming here very early in the morning, doubtful cast with a lot of pain, a lot of worries. He doesn't know what to do. The Lord is silent. And he's down, three days are past, and there is no sign. And she's down cast and she's wondering how to roll away the stone. She comes to anoint the body. And then she finds the stone has already been rolled away by an angel, and the Lord has risen. He has power to roll away the big, huge stone, which was even protected with many soldiers. My brother, my sister, you could be having many big stones in your heart that you feel like it's not easy to remove them. It's a lot of desperation, a lot of pains, a lot of suffering. Don't worry, just keep holding with the Lord. But the Lord has power and he has proved to us that he can turn the big stones into life. He has power to bring life from that which was dark in the tomb. He has angels around us to help us roll and put away the big stones that are blocking us from living. Maybe we have a lot of tensions around us, a lot of pains, a lot of sufferings that we don't find a way out. The Lord is saying he's working out everything for our good as he did it with his angel as he did it with his angel to roll out the stone for Mary and she appeared Mary what are you looking for? The Lord has risen already. Go and announce to the rest that he is risen. Why he chose Mary? Why he chose a woman? First of all because women have a heart that a lot of us. We pray today in this place that God may continue blessing you in whatever storm that you may be going through. That may God may to take away all the big stones from you so that you can be able to see light, so that you may be able to, ex to experience the warmth of God's love and shed His love on your body. May the Lord help us to come out of the tomb, the dark moments of our lives, so that we can embrace light and be light and life for everyone that we meet on our journey. This is our mission as human beings. This is our mission as Christians. May the mighty God bless you as we pray for you here in the Holy Sepulchre that no matter what you are going through, the Lord is taking care of it. Just keep crying and helping out everything and trusting everything to Him. May the God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And here we are guided by the light from above, the connection from God from above, who comes down to meet us. Dear friends, as we continue struggling to remove all the stones that we have to remove in our lives, the battles that obstruct our lives, let us entrust all these stones in God's hands. God knows what He can do with our lives, with our challenges, and is here with His resurrection, He's alive with the power to remove all our stones. May we be those people that help others remove the stones, because the God of ours, who is mighty, who is powerful, continues working through each one of you and me to help others remove their heavy burdens, heavy stones that block them from living their lives. Once again, we greet you from here, Holy Sepulchre, Jerusalem, praying for you and your intentions and saying courage to whatever situation that you may be going through. You are never alone. The Lord God is working out everything in your favor and He will see us through and from above. The Lord looks at us with His light. May His light shine in our hearts, warm our hearts, and put them on fire with love. So that we may be in love and for others. So that we may be spread the fire of love to all the people we meet on our journey of life. Blessings once again as we keep looking up to heaven and as we keep opening out our hearts, removing the big stones in our hearts, so that the Lord may continue working out miracles 
us through us to others that will meet on our journey of life. Blessings as we continue being a, an instrument of God's love, of God's peace, God's love, God's forgiveness. Amen. Amen.